championships. His number 11 retired in the rafters. Bobby Hurley makes his first return to Cameron Indoor Stadium as a head coach of the Arizona State Sun Devils. He will face off against the number one recruit in the country, Cooper Flag. Tonight, this is his final tune-up before the start of the regular season. Number seven, it's the Duke Blue Devils. He handled it for the Blue Devils this season. Corey, early on, what are you looking for offensively from Duke? Well, you want to see them be able to get the basketball inside. That's one of the areas where Cooper Flag has been special, and we see common Malo watch with the sensation Quainton's trying to post it up he's guarded by flag the good denial it's Mason with the jumper knocking it down and Bobby Hurley is very excited about his he does provide that scoring touch well, I tell you what Bobby Hurley's always going to be excited about a point guard one thing for certain you got to have a great point guard and you got to have a great player like Cooper flag is as you see him finish early getting to the rim getting foul to opportunity as you see flag attacking the basket going to the rim the ability to finish with the opposite hand and the strength cooper flag remember ladies and gentlemen he's 17 years old doesn't turn 18 until he puts between the ears that makes him different from everyone else that is just swatted malawatch at seven foot two from South Sudan making his presence felt and Malawat's coming over denying Quaintance Jaden Quaintance has the ability to go off the bounce does a great job getting... outside three off the mark and you got to imagine Quaintance wants to play well he's a North Carolina native so this is a great opportunity Look for him out. Cooper flag rising up and he will draw the foul on the big man. Caleb Foster, the sophomore out of Harrisburg, North Carolina. He's one of those guys that they feel like he is flying under the radar as Malawatch finishes inside. There's so many top guards in the country, but Foster does a great job running the show for the Blue Devils. And Caleb Foster was injured the latter part of the season. Freeman, the transfer from University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, throws that one away to Foster. Foster with a man on his hip and he lays it in. That's the difference between being a freshman and being a sophomore. You saw the bump that Caleb Foster. And you have to be because when you consider, I mean, right now they have 11 guys that could be stars anyway. The scooper flag comes off showing off that much improved shooting touch, but you can't. National championships. And I can never say that without mentioning Christian Leitner. <laughs> I'm tripping for that. That was 17-year-old Jaden Quaintance. He was a guy who originally committed to Kentucky. And then when Calipari decided to take the job. Oh, my goodness. Common Malawatch. I just knew you were going to say, oh, my Malawatch. <laughs> <laughs> this time. It's still the preseason. There is okay, time. okay. You warm it up. <laughs> There are athletes all over the floor for Duke. They are long, they are bouncy, and they are a problem defensively. Someone lost a shoe. That's Nunez behind the play as laying it in is Con Knipple, the freshman from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who John Shire has been one of the lead from deep. And the cold shooting start continues. Missed layup there by Ali. And Knipple coming the other way. Nice pass, finding Gillis all alone for the lay-in. Fans, and you think about how much they love basketball, but more importantly, how much they love their team. And they know so much about them, what makes them work, what makes them click, as Caleb Foss was able to step up and knock down the three. Adam Miller trying to come back, but it's Darren Harris, the freshman from Herndon, Virginia, trying to go coast to coast, had it tied up, and he lost it. Duke on a 9-0 run right now. Nice spin move. Watch out. Jaden Quaintance, just 17 years old. And that's why Bobby wow. he was only scratching the surface. Didn't play much growing up. And, of course, got to Kansas and was very good defensively. His offense came along. Time running. experience playing for the Olympic team of South Sudan this summer in Paris. Look out behind you. Poked away by Knipple. And a lane on the other end by Tyrese Proctor. But you got to have your teammates tell you something.
Great job manipulating the screen. With Arizona State. Quaintance on the block, and that one is swatted. Malawatch, another rejection, and he is fired up. And you can see Malawatch to make sure that he knows what his role is on the floor as they find it to him inside. Can't finish, gets his own miss, and puts it back and in. And as Perfect. But cannot finish his acquaintance. He gets the air ball and puts it up and in, plus the foul. Great that is something they talk points for the Duke freshman. Knipple using the screen, and he nails the three. Shire says he is the best shooter with the help D, and he forces the miss. Extra pass, Knipple with two in his face. It doesn't matter. Knocks down his second three ball in a row, and a timeout on the floor. He, they are going to love him here at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Because after you see Conka Nipple in transition, knock down a three as such. 23 lead here in the second half. Active hands, scrum on the floor. Cooper flag ahead of the pack. Hello! Look at what Tyrese Proctor does defensively. Not only coming up with the steal, but getting on the floor after the Luke's ball and finding Cooper flag out in front. You'll love the dunk by flag, but John Shire will much more. Corey, this is just an exhibition, but it certainly doesn't feel like it. Knipple fouled plus the three. The Cameron Crazies are going to love Con Knipple this season. But that's why it doesn't feel like it, because here at Cameron Indoor Stadium, when you step on this floor, it doesn't matter if it's exhibition, if it's a if it's a play blue collar, smart toughness to the floor every time, whether it's practice or the game. And he's starting to feel it now. The pressure getting another turnover for the Blue Devils. And you're looking for him right now. He's the hot hand. You got the license to take. Proctor, nothing but nylon. And Con Knipple recognizing the defense making sure. Jihad. And a foul called before the block. Got to oh, love this. What player that he's coached reminded him of himself as a player? And he immediately said Bobby Hurley. Con Knipple. You better put it. They, they have not been able to really get anything going against this Duke team defensively. And Duke comes off the bench with even better defenders as Mason Gillis knocks down the three. But when you throw by Tyrese Proctor, John Shire said, I want to play faster. On a miss, we are pushing everything this season. And Knippel, that is his first miss from beyond the arc this half. But he gets it back and lays it in. But he got it back because he didn't concede. But he misses the three in the corner, but watch as the ball comes off the rim. He just gives up his body, runs into everyone in there. It's a loose ball, which means there's no down the three ball. And on the next possession, in transition, a three from a very familiar spot. And that just got the fire started. A four-point play for Knippel coming off the screen. And then one more for good measure. Knocks down his fourth three-point field goal of the second half alone. Now leads the Blue Devils with 19 points, 15 of those coming here in the second stand. Duke as a team was just two of a tenth rebound now for the freshman Malawatch. Kick out Foster, and he rattles in another three ball. And we talk about lay up because you know what's going to happen. That's how good of a shooter he was. See on James, they went under the screen and he makes them pay. You're forced to shoot. Everybody getting in on the action. You said it. Caleb four guards to see what that looks like. He's going to switch things up to try to be ready for the regular season. Head fake Isaiah Evans on the floor. And the three falls. That's Darren Harris talking about keeping his confidence up. Not <laughs> Duke is 11 of 17 from beyond the arc here in the second half. James. Make that 12 of 18 from beyond the arc. This is the most talented team in the country. And so in the way that they're going to defend each and every night, and you have to because you have so much depth on the team, everyone has to defend to get playing time. Look at Slim. 
AKA Ozzington didn't play. Kansas was shorthanded in that exhibition game. Mm -hmm. It is raining threes in Cameron Indoor Stadium. It's the Purdue transfer. Mason. It doesn't get any more experience than that. Here's a steal. Darren Harris goes reverse and lays it in. And so when you start talking about the most talented teams in the country, right? No disrespect to my guy Julius Hodge and Lincoln. But what Duke is doing right now, they're up 51. This is not a Division II team. Knocks down the three ball, and you look at everyone getting involved in the mix. And when you have this many shooters mm. on the floor, now that starts to open things up so much more for Cooper Flagg, for Common Malawatch, for the interior players for the Duke Blue Devils to be able to play one on one against their matchups because you can't help you from any. It may not have actually been a zone, it just looked like a zone because he was so far in help. Evans! You get a three. You get a three. Corey, you get a three. So when we start talking about the most talented teams in the country.